Welcome back, le ladies and gentlemen, to the Whatnots Review Show number 156. My name is Kyle Springer, and I am joined this week by Ignacio Rojas. Hey, Ignacio, how's it what's up, dude? All good. All good. It's going good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How's 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 your weekend been so, so far? It's uh, Saturday morning, so yeah. not much. But uh, what's up with you? Did you say weekend or week? I, I mean, how how was your week? How what's your weekend looking like? <laughs> Uh, my week has been full of stuff for for school. This has been busy. Very busy. I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. It's been starting to cool off where I, I, I'm at. We had a week where it was like high 80s, like just starting to get into the 90s. And now it's back down to like mid to high 60s, low 70s. So it's it's. Kind of mm. nice out today. Yeah. I'm cold. That's why I'm in my jacket here. So <laughs> yeah, it is also cold here. That's why I'm. With my... Uh, there you go. Would you call this a jacket? No. Yeah, or a a a, a, a hoodie. hoodie. Yeah, hoodie. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, let's see. If you guys did not know, here on the review show, each week we have a different story to talk about. It could be a comic book, could be a movie. Uh, manga, who knows what, we read it, we watch it, we come back here and talk about it. This week, we are talking about an anime movie that uh, Ignacio, you pitched yep. this past week. Uh, if, you, if you guys did not notice, Melissa is not here. Ooh. She's not here, she's usually here. Uh, she got her second dose of the vaccine uh, I think this morning, if I'm not mistaken, she already it was it? yesterday or, or something. Wasn't it going to um, be two it was, more? I, th I think she. I think she was getting it today. Yeah, and so she. Uh, we uh, we normally record these on Sunday, so she hey, was like, "I'm probably not going to be feeling good on Sunday." Uh, but you you were you you asked like, "Hey, can can we record on Saturday?" And I was like, "Hell yeah, mm. that works for me." So here we are, me and Ignacio. But uh, this is a movie that you pitched. You pitched three anime movies. Uh, the one we picked is I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, yep. which is a very interesting name. It is an interesting name. And I think that that name makes you think about the movie being something that it isn't really, especially since it is an anime movie. You think that kind I, of, yeah, yeah, with, with that kind of title, it would be kind of on the weirder side, but it isn't. It really isn't. Yeah, it's it's interesting because I heard the name. I, I've I've seen the the the, the name, just like mm -hmm. knowing about different anime and stuff, being like, oh, huh, I want to eat your pancreas. It it's just it's so specific, and pancreas is such a. a weird word that it's like i this seems like a a comedy but it's sure. not it's, it, it's, it's really not something that it is, it is a comedy for sure <laughs> right yeah like it 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 seems like it'd be this like wacky fun time yeah. like maybe it's a cooking show maybe there's zombies i don't know yeah like but but it's it's not that at at all um so you let me let me ask you this. How did you find out about this movie and and what made you want to pitch that this week? Oh, uh, like you, it was one of those movies that I, I keep hearing about. I keep hearing about about it being like it, it kept being brought up as this great movie because sure. Some years ago, I watched on theaters uh, A Silent Voice, which was another movie that I pitched. And then your name, and b because of those two movies, I got into this, or I found this type of movie that I found that I really like, which are these Japanese animated movies about a like an an unconventional love story. And so, sure, yeah, one of the one of the movies that kept being brought up for that was I went to Japan, but I didn't know anything about it, and. I 
was going to watch it, watch it for the longest time, but because of the title, I just never did it until one day I decided, okay, I'm gonna do it now. And oh man, that movie. <laughs> It's so beautiful, <laughs> it's Good so stuff. emotional. And so yeah, I wanted to pitch it because because of that, because it, it is really a, a, a great movie that I think more people should watch. Sure, that's fair enough. Yeah, I, I, I had heard of this film, but never it never really piqued my interest enough to be like, I'm going to sit down and watch that. I, I, I think there's a lot of. Well, all right. So I used to be very, very, very picky about what anime I, I watched. Like, I feel like I almost used to say that I wasn't an anime fan. And then I, it got to the point where it's like, Kyle. You're lying to yourself. You do like this stuff. You, you, you just, you know what you like of just like, okay, I like this genre or this t type of thing. Um, and I, I, once I kind of found that, 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 that out, I was more interested in exploring and being like, I wonder what else is yeah. out there. Because I know there's good stuff that I'm not watching or I'm missing somehow. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I hadn't heard of, well, I, I, again, I had heard of the test one, just hadn't watched it yet. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I would say I really liked it, though. Okay. If that makes sense. Like, okay. I, I, I would absolutely say this is a good movie and that people should watch it and ch ch check it out especially yeah if if they like things like a silent voice or weathering with you or or stuff like it's it's in that like it's the, it's great quality it's a great story all of the, that stuff i had something that i think is more of a nitpick oh god that i think kind of ruined it for me oh god um but it, it, yeah, it's it's still it's still good, and so I I I think at the end of the day, I'm gonna be kind of alone on on this of like, well, I didn't like it because of this thing. <laughs> so, uh, but no, I I I I did. I I enjoy, enjoyed it. I enjoyed my t t time with it. Yeah, like I. There. But I mean, you can tell already that I, I love the movie, and yeah, I told you. Uh, one of the things that I wrote when I pitched the movie was that I was ugly crying by the end. It was the same now, th this viewing, and maybe even worse, knowing what was coming. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would make makes sense. Yeah, it's a it's a very emotional movie, um, especially like kind of once once you find out what happens uh, and all that stuff, but. Before we get into like a really basic plot synopsis, because you you when you pitch this, you were like, hey, it's best you don't know anything mm -hmm. going into this or just know as little as possible. So we'll be extra cautious to not spoil things. But um, what are your kind of spoiler free thoughts on on the film? We know you like it. We know you think it's emotional. You have extra stuff that you want to add on to that? It is mostly that I, again, the emotional parts are a big part of it, but I, I still think that the movie has a, has good messages in it. Sure. I do like the relationship with the characters, even though it is, again, it is this un un uh, unusual relationship between the, the two sure. protagonists. And something else that I like is it's the move the music. It it has really good music. Cool, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, this is absolutely worth checking out. Don't don't let my uh my nitpick uh get let you Kyle down. get you down. Go watch it. Yeah, who likes Kyle anyway? Fuck Kyle. Right? He's such a loser. Fuck Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. So basic plot synopsis for this one this is a it's yeah unconventional 
relationship. L- l- yeah, l- l- let's that's, say that's your that's true. It is by the end of it, they do mention how it, it isn't really a love story. They aren't lovers. They aren't even friends. What they have, it is something different, something special, something that it is it isn't labeled with that. Right. Yeah, so it's it's these yeah, it's these two high school kids who meet by chance. Uh one of them leaves behind a book and the uh, 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 other one picks 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 it up and uh figures out who who it belongs to and that's ha- ha- how they meet. Uh and then the movie is kind of about their relationship thereafter and how they become f- 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 friends. Uh and and Stuff like that, which is very vague. Again, we want to keep this like as just like, hey, don't don't know anything about this. We promise it will be worth it. Mm -hmm. Um, But that's that's kind of where that one is is at. And again, it is a sad, emotional movie um, that is probably the biggest hint um at 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 what is happening in this film mm-hmm. um but yeah i think that's kind of it for like spoiler free stuff yeah. that we can say yeah again uh, the le- which you get is the less you know it, <laughs> the less you know the better and that, that yeah. that's maybe what makes it harder to recommend to people because yeah, abs, abs, yeah, it, absolutely. Not everyone would go watch something knowing any, knowing nothing about it. For sure. Um, cool. Well, let's get into a little bit of housekeeping, uh, and then we can get on into our spoiler section, uh, which we will start t- talking about everything that is happening in this film. So if you guys did not know, we have multiple podcasts here at The Whatnots. You guys can find out more information on our website, which is thewhatnots.com, as well as your favorite podcasting platform of choice. Just type in The Whatnots and all of our shows will pop up right there. Uh, Let's see. Ignacio, you popped in on the captain's log. You've been there, I think, the past, like... Three or four weeks. I guess you weren't there two weeks ago since we pre-recorded that. Yeah. But you've been hanging out with us on the Captain's Log, which has been nice. Yeah. That's been fun to have you on that. Uh, you are also on Crossplay, our video yes, game podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we got some ex- exciting things coming up uh, for Crossplay down the road. So be paying attention to those feeds uh, over there. Um but yeah, if you guys like what we do, patreon.com slash the whatnots is where you can support us for as little as a dollar a month. We have a three dollar tier with all kinds of exclusive content, uh, and we just put up a new thing for this month. Uh, something that we are g- g- going to be starting v- very soon here on the review show is that we will be playing bingo in the back g- 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 in the back g- round. Which you might be like, what? Why? Who? Who? How? Uh, ba- basically, we will be playing bingo with movie tropes or comic book tropes where we just have a big old bingo card and instead of numbers and stuff in there we might have something like ooh, an awkward hand touch and if that happens in the comic or the movie then we get to mark that spot uh and winner gets a pizza so there you go oh so you have different bingo cards yes yeah yeah, we, we came up with like 75 Jeez. different entertainment tropes. It was actually, actually a lot of fun um, to to come up with those. So go, ch- go check that out on our Patreon at the $3 tier. You guys can uh, get all of that members, that exclusive c- content on our website using your Patreon credentials. Just sign in there and you can get that all right on our website. A uh, big sh- shout out to our Patreon supporters at the $5 tier and ab- 
above. So thank you, Sam, and thank you, Greg Miller, for helping us out. Uh, we, we appreciate it a lot, and we love you both. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so Greg, much and for thank helping. you, Sam. Yeah, indeed. Thank you. Uh, last but not least, we are usually live streaming on Twitch each Wednesday night and Friday night, as well as Sunday afternoon. Uh, we know we've been sl slacking on that a little bit r recently, but we are hoping to get back into that ASAP. I should be there tomorrow uh, on on Sunday, so by the time you hear this in the public, it'll have already happened, so maybe you can go watch the VOD. Who knows? Um but but yeah, we're we'll we'll be playing some video games and we do our podcast, The Captain's Log, on Friday nights. Uh, so that is at twitch.tv slash the whatnots. Uh, and you guys can subscribe to our channel there. And don't forget, if you have Amazon Prime, you also have Twitch Prime, which means you get a free subscription to give out each month. And we'd love that to be us here at the whatnots. Because uh, that means we can make bigger and better content for you. Yeah. House has been kept. House is House clean has been now. Kept indeed. Clean. It is clean. Everything that it's on is on its place. Yeah, indeed. Okay, so let's get into spoilers. Bam. Bam. There we go. Here we are in spoiler mode. Ignacio, Kyle, where do you want to start with this movie? I want to start with your nitpick. I want to know what it okay. is. Yeah, so my nitpick is a tricky one here because I, 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 it's one of those things like I feel I feel like I have to mention, but I also like want to be cautious mentioning it sure. because of the situation. I, I I think the first thing we need to mention is the situation between these two characters. Um, so the main character is the guy Ignacio. You're gonna have to remind yeah, me of his name because I'm terrible the names with here. names. Hold on, he's Haruki. 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 Um, so he's he's just kind of a normal, boring high school student, kind of a weirdo that doesn't really hang out yeah, with people. Yeah, he's an introvert. People. He doesn't hang yeah. out with people. Yeah. He's yeah. mostly in his head, in his books. Indeed. Mm -hmm. And he meets this girl kind of by chance, mm -hmm. uh, and immediately, uh, upon picking up this book that she had left be behind, he... Uh, 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 opens it to find out that she is sick and dying. Yeah. Uh, she has something wrong with her pancreas, uh, and and it's it, like she. I think she said she had like three years to li live. Did like, she say how three. much? I I thought she did, but I, I do not could remember. be wrong. Yeah. Um. But but yeah, it's this thing of like, hey, I'm dying they say i have a certain amount left but we don't really know mm -hmm. like it could happen at any moment there um and and so he he's just like all right well here's your book peace out mm -hmm. bye like i'm 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 you know and and she ends up kind of getting involved in his life there and that's where my nitpick comes in i I I feel like she was a bit emotionally manipulative. Oh, you first. Like I. Oh, I oh. hope I don't know why that 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 is. I am still here, Ignacio. Can you hear me? Oh, you froze on my end. All right, we'll be right back. We are having some technical difficulties. Uh, we will figure this out. Uh, you froze. Hold <laughs> on. Am I back now? Yeah, now you're back. Let's start again with your right. nitpick. Cool. Yeah, so that's that's where my nitpick kind of comes in. Is I feel like she was a little bit emotionally manipulative uh, with the way she kind of got involved in his life and started to drag him out to these things. And yes, he eventually kind of gave in i'm not sure if that's the right way to put that but he eventually like he has this realization by the end of the movie that he's like yes i chose to be with you and hey hang out with you and and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that so i think by the end of the movie it works but for 
like two thirds of the film. She's flirting with him off and on. She's dragging him out to these places that he doesn't really want to be. It's just like it's a weird thing to to be like he's clearly uncomfortable un- and doesn't want to do this stuff, and yet you keep pushing him to do these 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 things like why won't you just leave him alone but then i also know her situation it's like she's dying like how can i kyle how can you be so cold-hearted like what is wrong with you yeah yeah it's just this like weird thing mm -hmm. of of like i i don't know if i i feel like that wasn't the best way to go about that and when those big emotional beats at the end happen, it was a little bit soured for me because it was just like, well, she was kind of being manipulative at the start. Like, I don't necessarily feel for her as as much. Um, I, I still do at at the end. What, what ha- 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 happened was tr- tragic and we'll get to t- 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 that. Um, but yeah that 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 is my like one nitpick sure i i can see that and for a bit i was also feeling that but again i feel like and i also felt that with the rewatch that he could have at any time said no even at the beginning even though Mm -hmm. she was a little bit pushy i think that he still could have said no and I feel like he, even though he put out this front about not wanting to talk to people and all of that, I think that maybe deep inside he did want it. He did want to want some connection. That's what I got from this rewatch. That that's why he, yeah. even though he said no at, at the beginning and she kept pushing, I feel like she, by the front that he is putting, or not the front, but yeah the way he is that if he didn't want it he would could have said no even more and i i feel like he he said yes him saying yes that quickly or again he's not at the beginning but i feel like it was a bit too quick for him not wanting it yeah that's why i like i I don't feel that bad for for that part of her being manipulated. Yeah, and like I said, like I, it's it's a nitpick, but like I also know it's like, man, like look at her situation, like yeah. like it, and 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 I I I don't think that necessarily excuses it, but I think consent is important, right? Like that's something if he tr- truly does not want to be there, even if he doesn't explicitly say no like you should learn to read body language and stuff like that um and uh, there's just some iffy things going on Mm. with that but like i said i feel like i'm also gonna be kind of in the minority with that of of like well it kind of softened the emotional moments no i I think that it is a, a valid thing but again, I, I don't feel like it is that bad, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I think what you said, like, deep da- 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 down, I think he is a character that does really want that connection, mm-hmm. right? And, and he, he mentions that at the end. He's like, I think what I, I... He says something along the lines of, like, I think I found out that I wanted to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and he like he he just didn't know how he didn't know what to do. It, it was just it, like he was just like, oh god, what do I do? Uh, a weird attractive lady is is here. Uh, <laughs> what? No. Um, so yeah, he's he's in an interesting situation. Um, and then I I, I think to go along with that, her best. F- friend i did not like her at all she was a dick the entire movie that's on purpose though it's i mean it it's part of that and i i get the whole the whole thing of like every everyone in their 
class is like wondering what's up with them. Are they dating? Who knows what's g- g- going on? And I think she ca- kind of feels like she's being left be- ha- 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 behind mm-hmm. some. So like I get it. I understand it. But man, she was a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I was just being like, fuck off. I don't like you. Go away. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, again, that that's on purpose. She's clearly a either possessive or she does really care about her a lot. I mean, you yeah. even get that in the scene when she confronts Haruki. When she tells him right. about uh, all this stuff about how fragile she is, about how with the boyfriend from middle school, I think, or when the, her favorite teacher moved. And so, yeah. yeah, it is a combination of her maybe being a bit too overprotective, but her knowing that uh, she, Sakura, is this kind of person that could, she doesn't want her heart to be broken again. And so she sees mm-hmm. uh, Haruki and how he's acting, and I think that's where they clash. How she feels like he yeah. doesn't really care that much, even though Sakura yeah. is care cares a lot apparently. Yeah, and uh, I I think part of the problem also lies with uh, her. Let's let's see. Her her name is Kyoko. Sakura, right? Wait, Sakura uh, is the main girl. Yes, Sakura. So p- 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 part of the problem is also sakura who has not told anyone yeah but it is that, understandable that she has this this i mean it's 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 a per, per, private thing she she can keep that to herself if she wants <clears throat> to but because her uh, because she chose that it is causing these misunderstandings yeah. and and stuff of, of just like why are you not hanging out with us why are you talking with this guy all the t- 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 time but it, it, he's it, the only one that is aware it is understandable she doesn't want her last days to feel like they are the, her last days she wants her right, last yeah. days to be kind of like every other day she doesn't want I mean, she says it. She, her doctors give her reality. Her family kind of like acts like it doesn't exist, and they act mm-hmm. also weird about it. And she knows that if she tells her friends, that's how they will act too. And that's why she gravitated toward Haruki because she knows that he will give her both. He will give her reality, but he will still be real. He'll still be there. It wouldn't be yeah. different. Yeah, I, I, th- I think the word they use is normalcy. Normalcy, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's an interesting situation. It's kind of complex of, of what all is happening. Uh, so that's why I, I, I feel like my, my nitpick is like, well, they have this, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. Mm-hmm. Is is I think what 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 I'm trying to get at with that. Yeah. But um. Yeah, that's that. That's my nitpick. Yeah. But other than that, what what do you think? What did you like? What uh, I don't know if that was your nitpick. I don't know if you didn't like anything else. I I think for the most part, it it this was a wonderful film. Um. I the the so the I I think the next thing we should talk ta- 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 talk about is where they got the title yeah of of the the film because it is such a striking standout it, title it is but then in film in the movie in context it is such a powerful moment when he finally says it like so at, at the beginning of the movie you get him Sakura is already dead. And you get him mm-hmm. telling about how the last thing he texted her was, I want to eat your pancreas. And of course, you have no context for it. And so then the next scene is them both in the library and her telling the story about how some uh, people used to think that if you're a sick of a liver, you should eat liver to get better. And she tells him <laughs> straight up against the window, which I think it is a bit of a weird scene. 
but she tells him, I won't take yeah. your pancreas. And then at another scene, she tells her how in some religions, when someone is dying or when someone dies, the other person eats the organs of the other person to you so that their soul can live on on them. And so when that scene happens, when he's at the cafe and he finally says that, that I want to eat your pancreas, it, it shows like, uh, mm. it is the evolution. He truly cares. Yeah. He now truly cares for her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just it's such a a standout title that it, it like it's one of those one i don't think any other title could have worked yeah for this movie right because it, it had to be this it had to be that saying despite it's like well maybe it's a cooking show maybe there's zombies mm -hmm. in this i don't know like it's it's a little misleading if you don't know what it's about but the movie like we said is best like consumed without knowing a thing you just have to have to watch it as 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 you watch it i guess that's a weird thing to say but yeah. yeah um yeah it's 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 this emotional moment where he texts it to her they're they're supposed to meet for lunch because sh she had been in the hospital um because there were some complications and uh they they said like some of her numbers were off and that her life expectancy is now a lot shorter uh than it, it used to be um and and yeah so it's this like happy moment of hey i'm being discharged let's go eat lunch you, you, you know and he's sitting at this ca ca cafe waiting for for her uh and he I, I forget what he says but he says something like slightly making fun of her uh and she's oh, yeah. like hey that's mean like all right even yeah, as yeah. punishment you need to send me a compliment and he's just like ah, how do i well, send a compliment and then he, he's just like uh ah, even the, the narration say that i love the narration there about him thinking about the even the compliments for her uh, in mm -hmm. the narration and then he yeah get into the I want to take a leaf out of your book, I think, is the first thing that he writes. And he deletes yeah. that, and it is, I want to eat your pancreas. But Cal, I want to know, did you cry? Uh, I actually did not. Oh, God, come on. <laughs> come on, have some that, emotion. That, that's what I mean, it was the nitpick. The nitpick ruined it for me. Because it, like, it's absolutely a sad, emotional ending. And it was beautiful at 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 the end. And I think uh, if I didn't have that nitpick, I absolutely would have. Um, but yeah, it 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 just it it didn't hit me as 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 hard. It was yeah. sad. It like almost made me almost almost. It's like one of those things. Like my eyes started watering, like, but then it was like, okay, not really gonna form a tea. <laughs> here there so yeah. oh well for me I'm cold hearted for me this time watching it already <laughs> knowing what the movie or was going knowing the twist which we should talk about uh when he starts narrating and writing to her texting to her i was thinking wait i do not remember them ever going to the beach i cannot remember what happens next and then he gets to the mm -hmm. part of when he writes I want to eat your pancreas, and then remembering that in, in the beginning, that he says that that's the last thing that he ever texted who, to her. That's when he, it yeah. clicked for me that, oh God, this is the part where she dies. And that's when yeah. I started like crying. And then when I started ugly crying, that was, there are two scenes where I ugly cried. One, is where she or he is reading her message to him you mm -hmm. know in the which i love how it is done in the style of the little prince that whole animation part 
And so she, I, I, I'm actually not familiar oh, really? with that. So yeah, yeah. So that whole, you know, how it changes the like the animation style changes. It, it is more of a coloring yeah. book. So I'll, yeah, that's the Little Prince. Uh, that's that okay. style. And so yeah, interesting. Yeah, when she she starts talking about the how her decisions led or their both both of their decisions led to each other, and she mm-hmm. says that. I was waiting for you to blossom. Kyle, do you know what Sakura means? Yeah, they 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 explain it in 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 the movie that her her name is like uh or her her name means like cherry yeah b- cherry b- blossom b- 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 awesome. and his name, which is also kind of one of the twists in the yeah. movie, his 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 name means spring spring tree tree yeah. So it like. They go hand in hand, and that was the whole thing of like he finally, or at at, at the start, he t- 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 tells her his name, but you don't get to he- 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 hear it. Which, in if if you, I'm assuming if you watch this, if if you watch this dub, or if you had heard yeah. his name, like to us here in the United States, like it, it wouldn't mean mm-hmm. a, a, a thing. He'd be like, "I'm Jim," and she's like, "What?" Yeah, <laughs> right. But it like in in Japanese c- culture, their names often have these like Me, yeah. deeper meanings and stuff like that, or not necessarily. Deeper, but but meanings, yeah. Like, hey, my 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 name is this, but it's spelt like it means this that, thing, or yeah. it means that thing, yeah. right? And so that was the first ugly cry when I realized that, yeah, she's talking about how when she found her, she finally bloomed, and her mm-hmm. name being Sakura. And then the second time was, like you mentioned, when the mother of Sakura tells Haruki what his name means, and to that moment, I was wondering why. The movie decided to keep the name secret. I couldn't remember the, this last time. Like, why would you keep a name secret? It, it, it wouldn't mean anything. But yet, when she says, yeah. "Oh, uh, it, my name is Haruki. Oh, that means spring tree. How lovely!" They, they are both like intertwined. They connected. They, it's so yeah. fitting. Yeah, that was the second I only cried. And speaking of that, did you catch the name of the cafe? Uh, I don't think I don't remember it. So no, spring, spring cafe, spring, as in the season where the cherry blossoms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then if you also um, if you also pay attention to the to the song that plays on the end uh, during the credits, it also it is pretty much the story of Haruki. Him getting closer to to Sakura and they like he getting warmer to her and how the the music goes the song goes like all these song, all these words like I love you or sorry or goodbye or all that stuff there those were things that I would talk about and how in with winter it getting cold you started getting closer to me and so I'm starting to like cold weather now and then by the end it being like. I love you, I'm sorry, and all that stuff being more a part of me, more words that I use. And yeah, it ending with then it it being like now I'm waiting for for spring. Interesting. Man, this movie is full of symbolism. It's neat. Oh it has a yeah. theme. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely had had that, which I, I liked the way they did the name thing because it was strange mm-hmm. when you didn't hear his name, but they didn't make a, a thing no. out of it. Like I by the end of the movie, I had kind of forgotten about that, that whole thing. And then when you do find out his name and they do tell you what it means, it's like, oh, that was a good reveal. Like they 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 kept that secret but didn't be like wait what's your name again who's that what's your name it like they they just like it was that one t- 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 time because at the end of the day like it's not the mystery of this f- yeah. film which there isn't really a mystery but like it, the m- 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 mystery of this film is not about his 
name like that that's just not what this movie is about but it's just this neat like extra detail that's like hey it'd be neat if we don't actually tell you his name until the end here and it has this bigger significance um so that was neat but let's get on to the like actual tragedy of of this thing because we haven't mentioned it yet, and uh, if you've made it this far in and you haven't seen the movie yet, uh, first of all, what are you doing? Yeah. Go watch it. You should have um, been. But, uh, yeah, you can pause this. No, go you're, watch you're it, already making Come back. <laughs> the oh, damage wait. is done now. I'm waiting. Waiting for you to go. The damage is done. Catherine, I'm talking about you. Go. No one wants you here, Catherine. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, the actual tr- tragedy of this movie is that it's not her pancreas that yeah. she ends up dying from. She ends up being murdered. Um, and it is this very sudden thing where, like, yeah, I, I think, I think they, they mention it once on the news that's that there had been a stabbing one in a my, recent neighborhood. That's one of my nitpicks uh, with the second viewing is that, yeah, I caught that how at the, at the beginning when, Har- when Haruki gets home, the TV in the background has that story about the stabbing, the killing, f- be, uh, yeah. stabbing. And then when they go on the trip, they also bring that up about uh, all these murders with people getting stuff. To be honest, I didn't see that coming at all. Uh, I, I had no idea. Because, like, that's the thing. This movie is more of a romance kind of thing in, in a not romantic sense of the, the word. It's a d- different kind of, r- 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 of relationship. Mm-hmm. But... You could see how this would easily be a romance movie, but it is very much grounded in reality and stuff. So, yeah, when he gets home and his parents are watching the the news, right, and there happens to be like, oh, there was a stabbing, you know, over here, blah, blah, blah. Like, that just makes sense. To me, like, I don't see that as 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 strange or, or or stuff. It's like yeah, that you know, that's what the news is. Yeah. They tell you ab- about that stuff, and so yeah, if it like upon a second viewing, that is something that I think a lot more people will pick up yeah. of like, hey, in the background of all of this, there is someone out there who is like killing people. Um, but again, like the movie doesn't focus on that mm. at all and so at least for me like that was the, the the big shock that it wasn't like her pancreas just finally gave out one day even though the doctors thought she was fine it was no she was on she like the doctors thought she was fine and she was, and she was on her way to this l- lunch date, and she got kidnapped and murdered, right? It's just like, uh, what? Yeah. No, no, that you, you can't do that. <laughs> That's unfair. Um, and yeah, like that, that is the, the shock that they just set you up for it to be this one big thing that hey one day she's you know she, she's sick and she's gonna die yeah and she and tell, then they just pull the rug she tells right? him i'll let you know and then yeah she broke that promise yeah and so he he sends that t- 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 text that i want to eat your pancreas um and he's just waiting there all all day so he's just like huh this is strange like she should be here by now he stays there all day day mm-hmm. uh which if 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 i had gotten stood up in any way like that i wouldn't be there all day <laughs> like he was there till they cl- cl- closed at night um but uh yeah like it's just it was such a gut punch yeah. 
that it's just, like it's almost unbelievable that that is the the thing that like oh man <laughs> it's just like I, yeah yeah like it's 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 absolutely best that you don't know a, a thing going in this because yeah. yeah if 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 i didn't have that small nit pick yeah i absolutely would i'd have been like like you just bawling it's been like oh my god oh no this is bad yeah um and the whole movie is about yeah. that it is about life leaving i mean haruki asked her what life means to her and they also had that, right, that yeah. conversation early on where uh, Sagura didn't want to spend her last days like they are her last days. And then Haruki asks her, why? You're dying. Like, why? And then she tells him, well, you are not leaving it like that. You could die at any time. We could die at yeah. any time. And then, yeah, that comes back at the end. So, yeah, I, I think that that's her dying from that and not from the pancreas it helps with the theme of the movie mm -hmm. Abs absolutely i agree with that um yeah like she 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 was such a like an, an uplifting character because like you you do once we once she has d -d 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 died and we have the f f f funeral, and it's been a couple weeks. And uh, Hiroki is, is that his name? Haruki. Right? Haruki, yeah. Uh, when he goes to her house to pay his respects, finally, um, they ha we we get a, a big long scene where she is narrating it of all of the 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 stuff that she had written. Um, and like her message to 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 him and there's so many times where you see that the stuff she is doing whether it's in for front in for in front of other people or not she is trying to remain sh sh strong yeah. right like there's this one one scene when she's in the hospital and he walks in on her and she's doing some like yeah. J-pop dance. Yeah. And she just like she, she gets caught and she's just like, oh, like I, you weren't supposed to see that. Like, this is embarrassing. Um, and like, I, I think you can t take it as like, oh, she's just being a girl doing high school girl things and you know all that stuff but then when she explains like what she was actually doing and why she was so embarrassed it has this like deeper like no like i was trying to make myself stronger and and just not think to not think to not think to not think about what was happening to me and the fact that you caught me in the middle of trying to be strong is the thing that made her like go ha, 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 hide underneath the blankets and start crying is is really impactful yeah um, cuz i i think normally it would be the it would be flipped right where it's like hey if you caught me crying then you'd be like oh no i wasn't i was doing a dance you know uh and like it's 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 not that um so yeah i i i think this movie does a really really good job of kind of guiding you through this story and at the end of it really taking all of the emotional beats and wrapping them up into uh, something that's really beautiful. Yeah. So. Yeah, that whole scene, yeah. him reading the book, yeah, for sure, that it is such an emotional movie. I cannot, as such an emotional scene, I cannot believe you didn't cry. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm cold hearted. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I love that. Uh, I love. Yeah, like you said, she. It, she also is putting up this front of uh, her looking mm-hmm. like nothing's wrong. She is a happy look, go lucky girl. Like, and then yeah, you. She in, in her book she writes about all the times that she cries. Like she cried, like you said after, after the dance when she was so embarrassed and under the coverage, she cried. She also cried, uh, like after the fight, or. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when she says, "Oh, I only cried once today." That whole scene is so emotional. Man, I love this yeah. movie. I cannot believe you didn't cry. I, I, my eyes started to water. Ah, sure. It's that damn nitpick, Ignacio. Sure. That damn nitpick. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I think this was a really, really highly good film though mm-hmm. so um i do think we need to mention the end credits yeah scene though because we get a little bit of a time jump after the credits not by much though like a year I um think. yeah but uh i think the end credits they're at their uh they're at the g- g- grave mm-hmm of uh again i'm t- t- terrible with names haruki, sakura yeah haruki and kyoko are there in sakura and kyoko yeah okay um yeah so they're at her g- grave and they're uh talking with her praying with her to her i'm yeah. not sure the, the right being the right to say that yeah. yeah um and yeah it's just this nice moment of them uh, is especially of, of of him really trying to be like hey you taught me how to get out of myself and do all of this stuff and i'm not good at that but i've been trying because yeah. I, I think the end the end of the movie um is actually a scene of uh kyoko and and, and him kind of confronting each other and it almost ends on a bad note, but then he ends up ch- ch- chasing her and being like, no, like, I don't want us to fight or be on bad terms. Like, I want to actually be your friend. Like, I don't think she would have wanted this. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it is this, like, revelatory moment for, for him of like, no, let me actually try. Uh, and then in the p- 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 post credit scene they're they're there together you can tell that they are friends now Mm -hmm. uh and and stuff and yeah it's just this it's this really touching moment of hey i'm making progress and that's thanks to you um and they start to leave uh and then like uh it's one of those things like oh a gust of wind and the first like cherry blossom uh lave falls and it uh lands right on her grave uh so it's just it's like uh look at that it's magical yeah it is such a such a great way of closing that or closing their story <clears throat> Haruki yeah. and Saiko does. How you get from that end, end scene where Haruki comes out chasing Kyoko, how he he knows that that's not what Sakura wanted. She wouldn't have wanted that. She, I mean, she kept kept saying throughout the movie that how she wanted them both to get along, to be friends, and so yeah, to get right, that yeah. to that moment where Haruki chases after her, they stop, and he clearly wants to try. And then to get that end credit scene of him, like you see how how she impacted his life. He he is different now. He opens up more. They are now friendly. Mm-hmm. Such a great way of closing it. Oh, there is uh like a short novel that came out, which is a sequel to the movie. It isn't very long. Oh, interesting. You can find it on 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 the internet. I can link it at uh here in the Discord. But it is said several years after. It's about his daughter 
and Kyoko's daughter. Like, they think that uh, Haruki is having an, an affair. And so it, <clears throat> it eventually ends with... A slut. <laughs> no, it eventually God. ends... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it eventually ends with them at the grave and him telling her about Sakura. And mm. she asks him, like, do you love her or did you love her or something like that? And there you get how she impacted him. And he says that, no, there, it, it wasn't love, it wasn't friendship, it was something else. So, yeah, yeah, I, I highly recommend you read it. But yeah, interesting. I love how, yeah, at the end, she clearly impacted his life for good. Yeah, I, I think the moment for me... That that almost made me cr cry uh, was the moment when when Haruki uh, asks asks his mom if, if it's okay for him to cry, and then she she says yes, and he just starts bawling. Yeah. Like that that I think is the moment. Like that that I think is the like climax of the like emo 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 emotional stuff because it, it's it's just he's. He's not used to being emotional or being around people or like he's not super socially adept. Um, and, and, and so he he's also trying to be respectful and keep it in and and all of that stuff. And it's just, it, like it gets to a point where it's too much for 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 him. Right. And he's, he's just like, I I have to ask he's so polite it's he even apologizes like, after yeah yeah um which i he I, I at least don't think he needs to no. but they you know their culture is different so i'm not sure what i think it, it was is, more about him like this being something new to him and him thinking that, that by, sure. by him yeah. crying he like it wasn't that good yeah. for him to cry in front of her. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he he just starts bawling, and I, I think that was that that was the moment that would have gotten me, um, there. So <laughs> Ignacio shaking his head. <laughs> Cold-hearted Kyle here. Cold-hearted Kyle. I will say that I cried at that uh little commercial that Marvel put out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so much more emotionally invested in that stuff. Than You're more invested in that this. stuff than this story, this sad story yeah. about this girl that dies. <laughs> and how she impacted yeah, this guy's yeah. life. <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. <laughs> yeah. um, there you go. There you go. Do you have kind of final thoughts that, that you want to do? Is there something that we missed that you want to go back and mention? That we missed? No. I think we, we got the overall thing about what makes the movie special. Yeah. Yeah. Abs absolutely. Um, let's see here. Okay, so what we normally do next is recommendations. Uh, so Ignacio, if you if if people enjoyed this movie, what else would you recommend to them uh, oh that they might like? Boy. Well, if you haven't, of course, your name. That's a classic. It is a great mm -hmm. movie. Uh, if Which, you have, uh, we covered here on the review show with you, Ign yeah. Ignacio. That was uh back in February of twenty. 20 on number 95 mm -hmm. uh, so go back and check that one out if you yeah. want if you have watched that movie and you liked it there's weathering with you which is the following movie from that director uh there's also the other movies that i recommend there's a silent voice there is uh, uh that silent voice what was the other one that i recommended Oh, but then with you as I'm always on the, this one. Uh, fireworks also is kind of like that. Uh, I mean, the back catalog of even the, the director of your name, uh, Magoto Shinkai, those are all great. Okay. 
Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. I have two recommendations. The first is a comic book. This is one of my favorites, uh, and it is one that I absolutely bawled at. Um, oh, so you cried called... for a comic, but you didn't cry with this cat. Well, you don't know. You don't know what the comic is about, Ignacio. I think you would like uh, this one. It's called I Kill Giants. Uh, and it's about this young girl in high school uh, who has convinced herself that she is protecting the town from giants uh, from from uh, from attacking the t- 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 town. Uh, and it's a s- similar situation to this where there is something that she is avoiding uh, and she won't go upstairs in her ha- ha- house uh, for a certain re- reason. And you're not sure exactly why and people are trying to help her and just be like hey like i we, we know things are tough like all all of that stuff and uh you don't uh find out till the end of the book what is exactly happening and she has to conf- conf- confront it um but yeah that one is very very near and dear to me because i i was in a similar situation um where i i didn't really know how to to deal with something that was happening in my life and i i just didn't really address it and it was kind of because i didn't know what to say or how to say it um and this this book deals a lot with that of like hey in my own way i was doing everything i could i just didn't know how to tell you that um and and yeah it's 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 one that absolutely made made me cry uh there was also a movie adaption of of that it's a live action movie uh and that that one that one that one also made me cry um and it's it's written the the same guy that wrote the comic also wrote the screenplay for the movie so it stayed very true so i would highly recommend that um and then the second recommendation that i want to make is in is in anime called your lie in is called your lie in april um it is a music one but it also has a a similar situation where there's this young boy who plays piano uh and he meets this girl who plays trumpet i believe uh and she is this like Hurry spirit she she like he's more of the like no i need to read the sheet music and you know do the classical stuff and she's more into jazz and just like just play what you feel right um but it is the same thing where he finds out that she is sick uh and is dying and so it's them uh kind of dealing with that and making making music to get, 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 get together um so there you go those would be my two recommendations speaking of live action that. movie apparently there is a live action adaption of i want to eat your pancreas which i oh i might check out which apparently has a time skip that is a bigger <clears throat> a bigger time skip of like 11 years or something oh wow okay interesting good good to know um let me pull this up here so normally we would do our three pitches at this time for next week uh but since melissa is not here we are doing it a little bit differently i have already given her my pitches let's see where is it show here we go uh just for uh transparency Parency sake, the th- th- three things that I pitched was season one of the Harley Quinn uh, cartoon on HBO Max. Uh, pitch number two was the new Netflix movie, The Mitchells vs. the Machines. 
Uh, and pitch number three was the new Netflix show, Jupiter's Legacy, which is based off of the comic of the same name by the creator of Kick-Ass and Kingsman. Um, but Melissa has opted to go for the Mitchells versus the Machines. Oh, a lot of people uh, have been <clears throat> talking about it. Yeah, I, I've been interested in this one. I liked the art style, and then I found out it was by the same studio that did uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, so it has a very unique art art style, uh, and I'm excited to see what they what they did next after that. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm super excited. So I, I I guess with that one, just a bit of what that one's about. Uh, a robot apocalypse p- p- puts the brakes on their cross-country c- c- road trip. Now it's up to the Mitchells, the w- 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 the world's weirdest family, to save the human race. Um, and, and yeah, I've heard nothing but great things uh, with this. So I'm excited to dive into this one. Uh, but that is what we will be covering for next week uh and since we only announced it this past week i'm gonna say it once more just so everyone is clear um at the end of the month uh we are going to be our our next like end of the month special is going to be on the german show uh which is available on netflix called dark it's a, it's a Netflix show. It's all in j- 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 German. Um, it is a time travel story. It's only three seasons. It's phenomenal. I have seen the show before. Um, we've technically covered season one a long t- t- time ago on the Whatnots podcast, which is like the first version of this r- 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 of this podcast of the review show. Um, and it's really damn good. It's it's been one of our highest performing YouTube videos since we made it. Um, so it's it like wow. pe- people really like the show. Yeah, yeah, it 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 has some Stranger Things vibes, but it's much more mature than that. It has some lost vibes. So if you liked the mysteries of what was going on in Lost, this will be for you. I highly recommend this show. It it blew my mind. It was great. Uh, so that is all on Netflix. You guys can watch it there. And that's what we will be covering at the end of the month uh, for the next three months. Uh, so one season each month there. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, I believe that about wraps us up for all of that stuff. Um, this was good. This was fun. Yep. I enjoyed this. Thank you, Ignacio, for uh, p- pitching this this one. This was a good good cho- good choice. Hey, thank you for taking my recommendation. Watching. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Ignacio, where can they find you on the internet? Well, they can find me on Twitter at Ignacio Rojas B. That's I-G-N-A-C-I-O-R-O-J-A-S-B. There you go. And you guys can find me at Yo Kyle Springer on Twitter. If you guys want to stay up to date with all of the stuff that we do here at The Whatnots, we are at The Whatnots on Twitter. So go like, share, subscribe, do all of that stuff. Leave a kind review if you like the show. That would help us out a ton. Um, I believe that is it. This has been number 156 of the Whatnots Review Show. We will see you all next week. Bye.